Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to save files in a backward compatible format in Microsoft Excel 2007. First of all, to illustrate what I'm talking about here, I have the spreadsheet up on the screen. And you'll notice that my name up here in the header is test spreadsheet.xlsx. Now, if you're not accustomed to dealing with 2007 or if you haven't had it installed for long, you might you might be very much in the, in the mode of working with spreadsheets that all have an XLS extension on them. Your docs have a DOC extension and your spreadsheets have an XLS extension. But the problem is that all the files that are created in Excel 2007 come with a brand new format. And you might have already run into this problem where you go into 2007, you create a new spreadsheet, you save it, you send it to a friend who doesn't have 2007 installed, and he or she says, I don't know what you want me to do with this file. It comes through as a couple different files, and I can't open them with my computer, and I don't know what to do with them. So the best way to get around that is to save these files in a format that's compatible with older versions of Excel. And we'll show you how to do that here. First of all, what I want you to do is click the Office button. The Office button is that multicolored button that's always in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and that allows us to get to certain features of the application, such as saving. And when I'm here, I'm going to go down to Save As. And when I mouse over Save As, you see that I have all these different options available to me. Now, of course, the Excel workbook is the default one that it comes up with, where it would save it with an XLS X extension. But we don't want to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to save it as an Excel 97 to 2003 workbook, because those who are using any version of Excel from 97 up until 2003 will be able to open any file that you send them with an XLS extension. So I'm going to click on this, and now it's going to bring up my Save As window. It's going to ask me where I want to save it to and what I want to call it. I'm just going to pick a location here right on my D drive, and I'm going to save it there. And you'll see it even says Save As Type Excel 97 to 2003 Workbook dot XLS. So that's, that's one way that you can save files in a backward compatible format. Now, if you're dealing with a lot of people who don't have Office 2007 installed, you might find that you just want to basically get rid of this new format altogether. It might just be too much of a hassle for you to keep creating spreadsheets with an XLSX extension on them to the, to the effect that none of your friends or colleagues will be able to open your files. If you want to do that, you want to change your default options so that every time you save a new file, by default, it will save it in the old backward compatible, compatible format, which is, again, with an XLS extension. And the way that you do that is you're going to go up here and click on the Office button again. And this time we're, we're going to go down to Excel Options. And from here, we're going to find the Save area. And now that we're on the Save area, you'll see under Save Workbooks, it says Save Files in This Format. And by default, it's going to have it set to be saved in Excel Workbook X XLSX. Instead, what you would do is you'd pull Excel 97 to 2003 Workbook with a .xls extension, and you would click on OK. And that then will mean that any new files that you save in the future will be saved by default with an XLS extension. In other words, they'll be saved in a backward compatible format so that they can be used by users who have older versions of Excel. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.